See if it can actually pay off for them here. He said this is what allowed them to snatch a game away yesterday, but they're not going to have it easy this time. The Venomancer is going to screw over the Ursa. So with the troll. We hit on that a lot already. You're talking about going into late game up against the likes of those and the Doom with Oracle saves behind them. I have to wonder, where's your burst? It's more or less just lying and maybe Ursa once he has a Blink Dagger and a Basher. It's not going to be a quick one. Not in this game. Oh, for sure. Because we already mentioned that Ursa is going to have a tough time in this one. And uh, I'm not sure which lane he should go against. I guess it's better to just send him on send him on the off lane. But I doubt now he's going to do that. Um, I don't know how much value you got of giving Blizzy a high farm priority is the thing. I mean, it's not even about priorities. It's about who can actually get gold. A little bit of long pause here. Down the way. So, game three. Everything to play for. Both teams showing a dominant display in different games. It's going to come down to this. Can Na'Vi match a game with this Medusa pick? Or will it just be the Ursa crying in a corner? As he runs around, never able to catch any kills. You can always rely on Medusa. I think they had Ursa in that game as well, didn't they? Because I believe Ursa... so. Yeah, and because Ursa didn't, didn't have much. a good time. So he went for Hand of Midas, recovered, and he was one of the most farmed heroes in the game. Besides Medusa, of course. So you're just a giant distraction as the takeaway lesson here. Worst case scenario, they piled too many resources on you and... Medusa has just left her own devices. They were on dire side. I remember now. They were in dire side that game, and Magical was completely unpressured. If they can get a repeat of that. We did sneak out with the smoke to put down the ward. Um, uh, very close wards from both sides. Looks like they're going to scout out. Crystallize will just probably accept to start this lane and they can then try and rotate with the Chen but get that Doom matchup pretty ideal just the other thing we haven't highlighted this is going to be a Doom support as well so it's like no matter where you go this is this is pure pain actually it's chaos now X pain yeah there we go all right let's oh, quickly start Doom, uh, Doom position four it's yeah. been a while since I saw this hero being played at the roll. I mean, if he has a good, good start, good starting creep, they might swap uh, things around. He even has a sentry for himself, just so that he can unblock this spot. But once Navi realizes that this doom is gonna be on top, they're gonna stand on the side lane. But uh, the, I guess Chen is not gonna get. Uh, he does not want to get a creep when you're playing against Doom because he's just going to eat it and you don't have to walk in in the jungle, waste your time. That's kind of the beauty of it in the support role, right? You can just focus more on efficient use of the devours because you're not seconds. limited by responsibilities such as CSing. Uh, Lacoste, let's quickly restart the call. There was a slight, like, Kyle there. All right. One sec. You'll soon be bathed in Lacoste's voice once more. Here it comes. Alright. Hello. Hello, this is Cat. Ow meow. The battle begins. Alright, let's see how the runes go. Looks like everyone's just gonna chill. Tavo's gonna sneak in, take one. She's gonna take a lot of damage as a result of this. The problem is, you just use Gale and now Crystallize is gonna pummel the crap out of you. Too much damage thanks to King's block coming in, in the end. He will move across and grab the rune as well in time. A little. Not too bad of a trade. Decent damage done onto Chu, but a lot done onto Tavo as well. I think you happily take that trade and damage if you're Navi. You're not so happy about the runes. Yeah, it's it's all good. Let's see how that bottom lane goes. Oracle. Securing the last hit on that range creep. Done. Crystallize is going to be just CSing on the tower. 
you'll see Tarvo just drag it back to the creep wave. So he's going to keep decent control. Equilibrium should favor Chaos here. Misery. All right. He came to the side camp first. That's going to be some extra armor. Three to be exact. We said he, you know, is a hero that suffers due to no armor. He's fixing that. Maybe not uh, ideal. Maybe the second best creep he could have got in this scenario, actually. The best one, for sure, is the Hadouken one. It also More has creep. HP region. You basically don't need to spend uh, any kind of region, especially for your uh, carry and the extra kill potential with it. It's just too good. Definitely looks like he was hoping to find that, as you can see from the limited amount of tangos he brought out. Wouldn't be so lucky, though. Now he's playing the bottom lane correctly. They do not want to fight. They're just uh, pulling it. Ursa's getting uh, levels. It's pretty impossible for them to try to engage into a fight. But with uh, creep equilibrium, they could actually try to grab a kill. But Venomancer now has boots of speed, so it's not going to be that easy. If Oracle is found in a bad spot, they might engage on him, especially when Lion hits level 2 with the Earth Spike and Hex. Definitely a possibility, uh, especially seeing his Crystallize is already at level 3. So the damage does stack up pretty quickly now. Blizzy, meanwhile, on the top lane. Should be able to sustain pretty easily. Clap's going to come out, moving on to HFN, and the damage being done with the Mana Burn coming out. Chain Lightning, rather, actually doing a lot of damage. HFN getting pretty low, but the mischance comes into effect, then Misery. Well, now he'll start spamming the Chain Lightnings. Start the salve up. Nice little players coming out from Seneco there. Not able to secure the kill in the end, though. And HFN, there is a problem here. You may notice a lack of regen between the two of them. They need to use the courier, but it was being used on a mid. It's going to be flying courier in a couple of seconds, so they should bring more regen to the top lane. Fact, the mid might need yeah mid needs core again look at his health they're not getting it anytime soon and this should be something navi clock onto pretty quick especially with the way they're positioning despite that though hfn is top of the cs chart right now yeah because Please. he's using his time not the region up to use those tangos instead he's just uh, using time efficiently for farming a lot of damage on the chew here they aren't looking to gale the Ursa at all. They just want to get rid of Lion completely. Well, you kind of feel your intensity is... You realize this is the deciding game between the two of them. HFM being so reluctant to do anything. Blizzy just trying to harass him out. He has finally got the Courier heading up here, though. And, well, it could have come at a more perfect time. We... Almost actually taking the top CS position. Just a little bit behind Troll. All in all, actually, you look at Chaos. All the cores are farming pretty damn well. Oh, the snake is going to bounce. Which means we is not going to have any mana. Needs uh, 100 plus to get the bottle. There's uh, Arcane Rune on top. And it should be denied. There you go. Slap from the Chen Creep. We will be denied every such pleasure in this lane. It doesn't really matter because Lina is out of mana. Anyway, it reminds me of the gang that uh, we witnessed yesterday where uh, Arteezy tried to gank with Ursa, who had no mana, like level oh, we? four. One more hit. Okay, he might. No! The stick! One more hit coming through, just toggling him with the mana. Nice attempt by Wee, though. He was baiting him with the salve and then switched it around with the mango. Magical sword was up, stays alive. Rune's coming out. Snake will secure one. Misery, uh, that was a mistake. He went better get it, but the first blood already drawn in the bot lane, in fact. As they'll find a kill on the king, they'll find one on the top on the misery. And they're gonna keep chasing down, actually. They'll be able to get Tarvo as well. Crystallize clapping into his face with the big swings of these swipes. Nice little dominant display coming out from Na'Vi at the five minute mark. They need to be careful about their positioning when they're playing against Ursa and and Lion and Ursa doing way better than I expected. It's because of uh, this Lion was doing a really good job pulling. He even killed the Observer Ward, some extra gold for him and uh, extra XP. Now he even has full Tranquil Boots. Basically, he does not need to go heal ever. 
going pretty good. He's going to go back to collect him now. Me on the top lane. Hey, Jeff Ben, looking for an escape route, but he gets blocked off by Blizzy. Pretty savage way to end a man's life. This is all because HFN has been essentially bailed on. They've committed heavily to the bot lane. They want to try and invest in Tarvo. There's actually going to be a response, maybe. Lions TPing back out. If they see this haste rune, Lena needs to get it first. But magical, he does move quicker. We... And Fred the Light Tracker out. Connects on the two, but no, Chu. He's the one who grabs it. Now it's a three-on-one scenario. And Lena has no escape plan. Even Chu gets... Gets the last hit. So this is going to be... One farmed lion. Already looking like a beefy boy as well. Like I said, has his tranks. Got wind lace on top of that. He is speedy even without a haste rune. Trying to gale him up, but he's still got the haste run and they'll purge it out finally, but he's to safety. He's just using it to. So they can waste mana on him. Tranquil Boot's still up and running. Misery. This may have been a mistake. As you'll find out very quickly. He turns around trying to hit the Snaker, but it's a little bit too late, or is it? Can he buy enough time? He's got the chain lightning, turns around, decides actually not to go for it. It's too late anyway. The fairy fires. Turns out Chen had two of them. This should be a push with the catapult here. And how much of the creep wave is left. There's nothing to really stop them from taking this tier one at the seven minute mark. Catapult, divine favor. He's even gonna get the last hit. Top tower has fallen. Result of that, Blizzy is sitting at the top on the net worth chart. 2.7k. Oh, it's a match in them as well. And the thing is, this bot lane is not doing so great. Ursa's gonna hit level 6, six and with the Enrage, he's gonna have that uh, strong dispel. Has already phase boots plus wind lays for extra chase potential. And he's in. He's going in. Zoom, zoom. They wanna come to Tarvo. The Arcade Enrage with the disarm there. The Gale's gonna come out on Tarvo. We've missed sidestep. The body blocks from Chu. That's no man to work with instead. Us just has to back off. And how he had intended for that to go, but Chu, even if he started the mana drain, he wouldn't have had any mana in time for the stun. Nicely done by Oracle to ensure that that embrace does not lead to a kill. Curb off the aggression coming out from the Ursa. All in all, HFN farming pretty well up to this point. Almost has his phase boots online. Expect him to maybe look to try and pressure Blizzy at that stage. Blizzy's being recalled to the mid lane. Oh, they want to make a move. They've got the split. We maybe realize this what's coming. Trying to back up right now, but they can move across. Light Strike Array out. Can't sidestep, though. Blizzy gets stunned. He will keep himself alive, and gang rotation only well, does not bear fruit. Okay, I still didn't get a single kill in this game. 6-0 for Navi, and they're putting some pressure on a mid tower. Oh, double stun. Blizzy with the clap. The split's going to come out as well. They're looking to punish Lena and the Oracle. Maybe they can do so. We light strike Ray out, trying to move away, but Blizzy chasing. With the rocks being thrown out, they'll secure the kill on the Lena. They won't be able to find King, though. They do at least find the big one, and they might transition this into a tier one push. Stop me. You've got creeps coming in. Misery's going to linger around, but... It's kind of hard to actually push into him. Even if he doesn't have that Saturday, even if he's only level four. And while that's happening, Tarvo in the bot lane, that's a solo kill for Crystallize. That's a solo kill without him using Enrage. That should not happen. That's not usually how the Venomancer matchup works when you're facing off against an Ursa. Tarvo having a rough series so far today. HFN, just gonna TP away. Oh no, he has to cancel it. Realizes Chu is coming. Realizes at the 10 minute mark, it might not be a good idea to TP right next to the rune spot. Yeah, they might grab four bounties. Oh, they do. So this is the real reason that Chaos banned out the Alchemist. In case this happened. Harvey, they want to pressure more. They've got a haste rune and crystallize. It's going to move him right now. They'll purge him off though. They better back away. They just need to heal them up a little bit. They want to push in now that they've got the catapult. Double catapult, in fact, courtesy of Taneko playing the Chen. <laughs> Tavo I mean... is not having fun. We saw that same sound when, <laughs> <laughs> when he missed the chrono. Stop right. Don't remind him. It's rough enough the first time around. Right? Hey, in fairness, you know, they picked in Venomance. So it's not the most... Um, 
I want to say active hero throughout this stage of the game. To just be happy with a little bit of space he's been given. Problem is, that space he's been given is for good reason. Because Crystallize is looking to pick up a second life. As Na'Vi have taken to the Roche Pit. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything about it. Divine Favor on Ursa. Four points in Fury Swipes. Uh, more than enough. He's going to finish his Hand of Might as soon. And you have two cores who are going to scale. Medusa. Let me just check the net worth. Yeah, she's on... She's co-op. She's... Up there with Ursa. And then you look at HFN. He's heading towards that Battle Fury. 1500 gold sitting there. Almost has it. Just needs a Demon's Edge. So it should match close to the timing of the Midas pickup. Actually, no, screw that. He already had the gloves. So Midas complete for Crystallize. Turning at this stage in the game. Already queued up the Blink Dagger next as well. And well, with that Chen, they can apply so much tower pressure early on. Dealing with him now, though. He's hanging around in the bot lane, probably looking to recruit more catapults to the course. I feel like Chaos is not doing anything right now besides uh, killing creeps. Oh, the, oh they, the, they might die. Tarvo's in trouble. The splits come out from Blizzy straight away without hesitation. And Wii's here as well with the Arcane Ring. Wants to get for Light Striker A opportunity, but he gets cycloned up. They spotted him out. Nice scout from Blizzy. Will unable to move on a Venomancer and kill him off. Ooh, false promise protects his life. Gale comes out. Now they're going to turn around. The fingers there. Lena gone so quickly in the blink of an eye. They're going to hunt for more. Crystallize isn't done just yet. He wants something out of this. The Doom's going to be thrown out onto the Brewmaster. The turn around. Trying to do damage. Hand of God to keep him alive and pretty healthy. They disarm the Ursa, but he's running forward. Looking to pull towards him. The stun's going to kick on the top. The rage activate. That's enough to bring down the Venomancer. With that, Navi. they might transition into a tower push as well. Navi playing this uh, extremely well. They realize they're much stronger than Chaos. And with all the healing that they have, this Doom doesn't really do that much at this point. Also, Brewmaster split. Chaos decided to fight into it. I know. You can kind of see where we was coming from, right? Perfect positioning, but Lizzie's so quick to just scout that out and remove him from the equation altogether. By the way, Blizzy now going straight for that Blink Dagger has more than enough gold. Looking to ramp up the pressure. Na'Vi. I mean, they've got their boot on the neck of the beast and they're not going to let loose. Mid. Oh, we. We'll turn around for Light Strike, right? Beautiful sidestep by Blizzy and the snake gets the kill. That should be a push on this tier one tower next. They use the glyph pretty early, but now, now Chaos know they're fully in the business of just trying to buy time. Still zero kills. That uh, that feels bad when you see that your team, 14 minutes in, couldn't score a single kill. It's kind of depressing. Not just that. I just realized, actually, HFN, I thought he was farming gloriously. That Demon's Edge was queued up independently. He doesn't have any other part of the Battle Fury other than the Quilling Blade. He's a long way off. Well, if he managed to trick you, I think he can trick Navi. Maybe. Maybe they're just going to sit there and go, oh, wait, uh, Troll, have a Battle Fury in a minute, guys. We have to press even harder. But at the same time, look, look at Magical. Yasha almost got the man to complete. This is a rinse repeat of what happened last time Na'Vi took a Medusa. They just applied pressure without her. Got the job done. Radiant this awesome. time around, it's, the Earth has a perfect start. La Na'Vi learned their lesson because they did not first Radiant pick Troll, middle. and it's working really great for them so far yeah no troll picks here good rv looking like a unit they're gonna smoke up and move out blizzy wants to make use of this blink dagger he has a split available and he has a dd also crystallize has a blink oh, dagger it gets gone but they beat them in this blink i'm straight out and now we in trouble Trying to move forward. False promise going to be used. We running for the high heels, but Cyclone up in the air. They're going to look across on the king, just trying to zone him away. And now they're going to drop Wee down to his death. They bash him up. They stun him up. He's in trouble. He's one more hit. The enrage is there. And Crystallize gets it. Moving across on the king as well. He can't move away quick enough. They do can ball through. There's a lot of damage and the big fat crit coming out from Blizzy. Need more hide in the trees. Your friendly neighborhood Venom answer. Ta, we're just planting some bananas. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Not like you can do much else right now. Level 8 has an urn. And this is the Orca part. He's picked up this urn like he wants to fight. But I'm not seeing any way that Chaos can right now. They are zero kills on the board. Look at the <laughs> other side. Na'Vi are at 13. 
They might make it 14, actually. They see him as well. Tarva hangs around. He sees them with his wards. He plays the plague wards all around. But the push is coming. You want your tier 2. On the upside of the map, they are eyeing up magical, but how do you kill the Medusa in time? Oh, can they get the Coria? No. Drums nope. used. Gets out of range. Now the jump is going to come. Tarva in trouble. Stunned up. The crits are big. The fingers up. Nope. Face he will protect his life, but not for long. Blizzy with a big crit. The Doom's going to be thrown out onto the Brewmaster. But he's already used his split before. Chu trying to escape. Can't do it, though. And now the Battle Trance activate. We'll rue up Brewmaster. So they kill two. But the tower still falls, and they still lose the Venomancer. And they didn't get the courier kill. I think Navi played a bit too aggressive because they saw two heroes chasing the courier, dived between tier 2 and tier 3 tower. Tier 2 tower was not dead yet. They could have played it uh, safe and uh, fall back with the no casualties. Also, this is why Oracle is so good against the lion. Any magical damage. He blocked the damage there. That extra time it took them as well enabled the Doom to arrive and just cause a little bit of anarchy by throwing out his ultimate. And it, it was, what, two, three seconds difference in that time? Imagine it. You're a brewmaster who's standing here. You could have been maybe here by then, and you just escaped from the troll's clutches. Oracle has definitely been the deciding factor throughout Group D, I want to say. A lot of these games. Navi smoking again, though. It's Okay. You know, we learned we were a little bit too aggressive, but that doesn't mean we're wrong to be aggressive. Lizzy moves forward. Doesn't catch with the clap, but they're going to stun up onto the Venomon. So they're concerned if he's leveled into his ultimate, but he hasn't yet. They turn around with the Gale, moving across on the Chew, but he knows it's too late. With Magical here, there's just too much damage. The problem is they don't have any kind of mana burn against the, this Medusa, and she is getting out of control. Manta style, level 16, zero deaths on her, pressuring the tier 2 tower. And they're fighting on, Troll Warlord on bottom lane. Yeah, he's in trouble. Hey, Jeff Ben, the one who's meant to fight up against this Medusa Leia. Can't do anything right now. Just goes down, doesn't even get a chance to use the Battle Trance. Meanwhile, on the top lane, they force out the Stone Gaze, but you just run away. You, you can't fight into it. As you said, no mana burn, not enough damage. This is getting very, very concerning for Chaos. Chaos has a full greedy item belt. Troll. With Battle Fury, Doom with Hand of Midas. They want to keep playing this game for the next 20 minutes and then their items are going to start showing in the inventory. It's a matter of whether Na'Vi can push in those 20 minutes. You know, you got the Chen, you get you up on the ground early. You've got this Earth of so easy Roche taken. And that's probably when Na'Vi is going to try and move towards the high ground, right? With the second Roche. Yeah, this is the timing that a lot of teams play around. Especially when you have Ursa in a team, or if you have an early Vlad, so you just take the Roche and uh, it opens up the second Roche fast enough. And then, like you see, 5000 network advantage already for Navi. They don't have, like, the best vision right now. They can see them uh, a bit of their triangle where Venomancer is farming and uh, the second shrine as well. So they can push these tier 2 towers without. Uh, them being afraid of uh, rotating from the back. So this should also be spotted by that uh, Shrine Ward. The smoke. And then try and move across now. Chaos need to respond to this. They're running out of towers that will protect their base. And Magical is going to poke at the high ground. Got the Alpha Wolf with him as well. Forced to be reckoned with Crystallize. Ready with the Blink Dagger to just initiate. Divine Favor plus Alpha Wolf. 300 damage Medusa. Casually. Just casually. Half the damage done to the tier 3 tower already. They'll back away. Roche is going to respawn in a minute and a half. They want to see if it's available now. I'll be disappointed. That gives them time to take control of the bot lane. Because this is the thing. They want that pushed out, right? So there's no reason to come down here when Roche is occurring. What is the troll building? Okay, he's going for the Sanj. The, the big item pickup that will make all the difference. Well, on the other side, what are we looking at? Four staff being queued up for the Lion. Tuscardi is not very far away from Magical either. Good lord. He's just building status resistance on troll against the Lion, against Brewmaster's split. It also gives him tankiness, move speed, farms faster. Everyone on side of Chaos in 
radiant jungle lurking around securing this tier 2 tower they don't have um, that many big cooldown ultis so they can uh, they can try to fight even if the brewmaster ulti is down even if the finger is down they can still fight because you have ursa and medusa so you you can pretty much fight whenever you're ready uh speaking of ursa uh oh he's found a target tarvo he knows he's dead there's nothing he can do against this trying to distract them to make sure everyone else could get out and get out they will but this game has been brutal for Tava. You can already see, you said about the Midas earlier, it just seems like they've gone, okay, Misery, you're the post free now. Good luck, buddy. And the uh, Roche is gonna fall after that Venomancer kill. He still doesn't have a point in ulti. Two, five, nine, he's actually saving a point. Trying to get that max impact for level two poison Nova, they're gonna need it. The question is whether he can get the XP for it before Navi approach your base because the Roche is almost dead. It's not like they're looking towards tier 2 objectives because you've got none left to throw at them to sacrifice to them. Guardian now online, crystallize. Oh, has he got it? Yeah, he has. BKB completed. He didn't go for the basher first. It's one of those games where one team doesn't play to win. I, you can feel that chaos is not doing anything at the moment. They're not smoking. They're just killing creeps. Actually playing uh, not a MOBA or a survival game right now. Need to buy as much time as possible. You can see that from how often they're focused in this bot lane. Just trying to drag Na'Vi back to deal with it. They're going to go for high ground right now. Venomancer needs to be ready. Pop those bananas. Pop those uh, plague wards. Still doesn't have a level 2 poison over though. Likely to just tickle the lineup of Na'Vi. Troll is at the base though. They can deal with the split push. One TP's back and Chen just recalls him after Troll TP's. So no biggie. I mean, Ursa's nice gone back dodge. right now. Magical, nice dodge coming out. And now Doom getting so low on HP. Won't even get a chance to throw out his ultimate. Doesn't have a buyback either. 300 gold short. Magical standing his ground. Just hitting his buildings and Crystallize has returned. That's got the blink. Awkward scenario is they've only got halfway through the Medusa's mana pool. And look at that, just gets it back. Now jumping in. Okay, going to slow people down. Yules onto the Brewmaster. Gets sidestep though. Doesn't hit the Light Strike array. Give me one lane down. I'm not sure if Na'Vi have satiated the hunger though. The mid lane is uh, being pushed, but uh, it feels like they understand how much stronger they are right now. And uh, they want to finish this game. Bottom lane is going to be pushed by Brewmaster. Will be recalled by Chen. And uh, they, they're going to fight. Aegis still up and running for the next uh, almost three minutes. Plenty of time to work with. And that suggests that Chaos's base does not have much of that left time. Soon life. I already see the queue up coming out from Troll. He hasn't gone for that BKB build. He's fully in on the idea of the status resistance, but Satanic is not a cheap item, and you're not going to get the time to farm it here. They're going to go for the backstab. This this is the big do or die play for Chaos. The problem is, you have to find that squishy, vulnerable Dyer's underside of Na'Vi's lineup. It can't be the Medusa. It can't be the Ursa. And they got spotted. Now they know about it. Pink's coming out. Magical stand on the high ground. Nice man dodge out again. They jump in with the Doom being thrown out. Onto the Ursa. Trying to throw him up. Mizu getting pretty low. Stun for onto two. Stonegate's been activated. They're trying to get rid of the Medusa, but they can't. They have to deal with it right now. False Promise comes out of the troll to keep him alive. And it will do exactly that. But for how long? They're running weed down, getting him low. Already got rid of the Oracle. HFN running towards his fountain. Needs to heal up. Five bats going to come up for Venomancer. And Na'Vi, they don't even know what casualties are. They move in. They are going to make sure that Chaos pay a price for their attempted backstab. And that price might, in fact, just be the game. Let me tell you a story. Navi is back. Like, Chaos can call this game because they have nothing else to do. Doom is used. Look at HFN. He's having fun. He's just playing a few games of Crystallize. A little bit of Kiss Chase. going to turn around. Rage going to come out, though, and HFN. Uh-oh. This might not go well for him. He needs to back it away. And meanwhile, on the base, there's going to be a kill on the Wii. GG comes out, they know it's over. Now Chaos, lose to Na'Vi, Na'Vi take it 2-1. <laughs> and HFN, there we go, he gets it. 
just in time. <laughs> Good performance by Navi. I feel like uh, Chaos did the same kind of a thing in the in.